Welcome back to the Karen Wars. Today's first Kevin is livid that the store had to close for some undisclosed reason. Let's watch. camera and stop. Stop film. I'm saying I'm not giving you permission to film me. But All you're right? In a, you're in a you don't have place. permission. Huh? But you're in a public No, place. no, it's closed. It's no, closed. This is actually a privately held... Uh, oh, really? Company. You're going to explain it to me? Well, tell me why they're closed. I don't know. Cadillac Fairview doesn't want you in. Oh, Cadillac Fairview doesn't want me in? That's why they closed the whole place? Well, apparently. Are you nuts? Are you crazy? I just walked over here for... This awful motorcyclist doesn't care about the laws of the road or this old lady. is angry because this fast food restaurant is not currently taking physical currency. RB is refusing to take U.S. currency. And I'm sorry, your name because you have a name tag. You don't have uh, policies pertaining to name tags? No? Oh, I guess I'm being ignored. Again, Texas Constitution, refusing to take cash. How long is it going to take? Call the cops if you want. Just so they can embarrass you? Okay. No, I don't have to. I'm yes, waiting for the manager, Ms. Cervantes. Ms. Cervantes told me she was going to get me corporate in the GM. So do that, right? If you're so miserable at your job, girl, do something else. Okay. Talking. Oh, is that, is that, uh, is that, oh. Oh, okay, good. Wow. Oh, civil rights? No, not when you're at work because you have policies and procedures. You have rights when you're outside of work. Uh, Felicia, I'm waiting for the number. So, bye to you, Felicia. I uh, never knew her, but obviously the one that knew you was very disappointed. Oh, no, I'm not miserable. I'm happy. I'm very happy. Thank you. 
Thank you. Oh no, excuse me. I'm sorry that your pants don't fit you as well as they should. That's your miserable. That's your miserableness. I'm waiting for Cervantes to give me the info and wait for PD to come. And I have you recorded on everything. See how that goes when I put you on YouTube. And check out my channel on YouTube too. <laughs> See what they think about your little words. Be punking for a $14 sandwich, please. Oh, here, let me commit a federal crime with a bunch of $2 bills. May I have the number, senorita? Oh, she's gonna give me the number, good, thank you. I'm still waiting because I'm, I'm being accused of committing, of, of an attempt to commit a federal crime. <laughs> There's a Karen at the car rental place. This, this lady just got in my car, opened my car, took pictures of my car. I didn't even know. I didn't say nothing. I just said, excuse me. I just said, excuse me, and she keeps screaming. I asked for a manager. This person shouldn't be working here because she is very disrespectful. I didn't even say open the, I didn't even see nothing. My door, my back door. I didn't even see. I was on Facebook. I didn't even see her. No, she kept going. I didn't even say to her. Get the manager here. I'm calling the cops on this. I'm calling the cops on her. She's being real, really. I nope. I'm not. I'm taking video of her and I will post this so they can see the nasty they do here. Get me the manager right now. I'm calling the cops on her. Because I didn't do nothing on her. I didn't do nothing on her. She touched my vehicle without no permission. She is being loud, disrespectful. Yeah, that one right there. That one right there. Look at the customer service they have in this place. Car rental, look. Look at the customer service they have in this place. No manager, nobody. Oh, and she hit the car. This dog trainer is getting rid of her crazy client. I don't answer for 12 minutes the first time and you freak out. I know. And then I say, hey, this is how it's gonna have to be. Like I work all day. I have dogs that are constantly being worked. I can't sit on my phone and do messages and phone calls. And, emails and you know all what? Day. I was incredibly wrong. I get that, but then it happened again, except it was 20 minutes the next time and then you called the police so, on me, or at least threatened to call the police on well, me. You just bored him. Your car stopped driving here. Yes, it did. How'd yeah. you get to Sault Ste. Marie then? Can we please start? No, I'm sorry. You, you can either I can. Him right now. So they bored him. For how long? As long as you were going to train him. And I would appreciate you training him. I'm not training him. You're more than welcome to take him. I'm encouraging you to take him with you. I can't work with you. I already tried multiple times. No, please, please, please. I will do anything. I am going to give me my dog and I will call the police. About what? You are being manipulative. Oh. Give me my dog. I want him now. All right. And you're going to have to put him in the car because I don't have a leash. Your leash is right here, ma'am. Jack boy, I saw you and this. I will make sure that everyone knows that you are manipulative. This is my dog. And please, go ahead. I want you to come out and meet the cab driver, please. Yes. You have been incredibly rude. Please turn that off. This is an invasion of privacy and I did not give you permission to photo me. Actually, you signed a contract that says that nope, exactly. I did not give you now permission. 
I asked you to turn that off. Please just leave. I asked you to turn it off. For my safety, this is what's gonna happen. I asked you to turn it off, please. Why not? Because this what is for my safety. Oh, you are a little manipulative. You're choking your dog, by the way. Oh, really? You care so much about him? You won't train him? You need to walk out, please. I am outside the door. Um, I don't know. She has a jacket. You ain't not the caramel nasty. Um, I don't know. She just came into the store. And then... Gang bang you. Gang bang me. Yeah. What do you want for me? Meth is a hell of a drug. This argument turns very personal at the end. She was just minding her own when old Karen had to insult this woman. I know, because I, I don't work right and I'm a bum and you're just being mean to me for no reason while I'm sitting in my own vehicle. How about that? I'm whatever. Put me on camera. You know what? I don't give a I don't care. It's okay. Do whatever. Now my clothes smell like stench now. I'm sure you're you're pretty far away from me. Yeah, whatever. I don't like I'm going to come over there and do anything. I'm just literally outside is all I'm saying. The smoke is not on you. You're invading my privacy. No, you're invading my space. You bothered me. All I said was, I'm glad I'm done so I can get away from the smoke. What's wrong with that? Oh, I'm going on this side. I wouldn't want to get in your space. This employee gets in trouble for not selling enough credit cards at this pharmacy. I, too. You know, I got different ways that I can look at it, you know, and it's like, you're not asking. I heard you. I stood right there and asked you. You have to ask every single person. And I don't know if it's because it's they're getting job. on you. And I have been asking, Kelly. It's your job. Just like the credit card. It's your job. We are required to sell six credit cards a week. They can track that. And you know what it's going to come down to? I you guys people, are going to lose your jobs because you're not doing your job. Do you understand they, that? The credit card is not a good credit card. And that I is the reason care. for it, it not It doesn't matter. Itself. It doesn't matter whether you want to sell it or not. That's your job to sell the credit card. I it's cannot, just like if you went to your Kohl's that. and you sell their clothes. Maybe I don't like Kohl's clothes, but you're going to have to sell them to me. Well, I understand the fact of asking and stuff, and I do. Um, you do not. You do not. I cannot. You do not sell that credit card. Like, you only Make wait outcome. and see if it pulls up on the thing on the screen. You sell it regardless if it comes up on the screen. And, and I you're don't not know the if only one. Just, like, you're not the a only random one. thing, but I don't understand the vibes here because it. we have not had any issues. Mm -hmm. Me, myself, personally, I'm having a great day. I've gotten $3 of this, and when when Lacey left, it was at $17, so you've gotten $2. Right. And, and what time did you come in today? Is there a requirement that we are... If we, we have to sell, do $60. I've asked everybody, Kelly. I cannot no, you pull Don't like, money out of this thing. I have. You have to have $20 today. And what happens if I don't have $20? Repercussions. Here is your dose of fast food drama. God damn it, and I 
And I'm glad for you, huh? What's wrong? What's going on? What you mean? I've been waiting on my grandson for 30 minutes outside. I didn't get the whole damn jacket, right. and his food got to be fresh out. So what he, I'm going to tell you what he did. He ordered, he ordered on the kiosk, and then he come up here and paid for it. So he just paid I don't for, give a I'm, I'm, he ordered it. Okay, he but ordered, I'm telling you. Man, sir, I'm, I'm telling you. His food got to be fresh. But I'm telling you. That's why. That's why I took it. It took him so long. What you mean? That's why I took him so long. Because he, he ordered. He ordered. He didn't come up here and order. Why he did ordered, he order up here? He ordered. Listen, listen to me. Listen, listen to me. You got to get your hand on my face. No, 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 no. Listen to me. The uh, new thing that was the, the, the new way to order, you have to order on the kiosk. So when he ordered on the kiosk, he didn't come up here and say he ordered, he ordered on there and just sat down. So that's why. But if he ordered on the kiosk, he should have popped up here. He didn't pay for it. But if he ordered on the kiosk, right. he should have popped up on here. He didn't come over here and say, he didn't come over here and say anything. But so why not got a kiosk if he don't order to the cash money? He didn't pay for it. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter if you're paying for it or not. Yes, it does. Kiosk, it does. It does. It should have come up on the back. If, if, okay. if, 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 if you pay for it, we're done. We're done. I'm just saying you I know. I make sure food's gonna be hot. Is your food hot? I got you, bro. Your tie's hot, man. Or hot? It's, I get it. You're good, bro. You're good, bro. I get it. It's wild. Kevin over here. Right Y'all, this man was waiting on me at the door. I wasn't even delivering to his house. Yes, I'm cussing right in your damn phone and I'm not ashamed about it one bit. You stupid to come out here and park any way you want to park. You're even parked the wrong way. Have a good day. You have a bad day. Excuse me? <laughs> this guy is mad about something that didn't happen yet. Speech, you stupid monkey. Come on, hey, say it again. Say it again. Say it again. Say it again. Go ahead, get out, you dumb. I'm what? Are you a dumb? Ain't nobody running over nothing. Black Lives Matter. Hey, welcome to Facebook. Hey, what's up? There's trouble brewing at the gym. Hey, what's up? She's very amused by this weird rambling man. Yo, sisters. Oh, sisters. Wow. Scary, sisters. Yeah. 
No gates there for coming to North Sydney. There's never been a gangster come out of North Sydney. Never. Never was one boy out of North Sydney and become a gangster. Never. Historically based. No gangster ever come out of North Sydney. Ever. 20 years of oppression. Another Kevin angry that the store is closed early. Yeah, hi. Um, look at my watch here. Oh. Oh, so you're saying it doesn't matter what time the thing says. Yeah, you, you're gonna you're gonna close you're gonna close before the time actually. Right. Uh -huh. Okay. For security reasons. Exactly. S security reasons. Yeah, okay. You. Yeah. You're being video just to let you know, and I'm going to be reporting this. Yeah, yeah. You guys close before your time. You guys decide that you're just going to close and screw people out of their medication and everything like that. That's fine. I'm video recording this. It's before 9. The store hours are until 9 p.m. It is before 9. You guys are closing before 9. I need to get my medication. You guys have decided to close early. Therefore, I cannot get my medication this evening. Okay. Yeah, I notice they don't care. They don't care that somebody can't get their medication because they've decided to close before they're the time that you're supposed they're supposed to be closed. And the guy even said it right to my face that he just just decided to close early and screw me and not getting my medication. So, I'm going to go ahead and put this all, I'm going to put you all on blast, on TikTok, on YouTube. Enjoy being famous! Could someone explain to me what this hose is doing in the way? You know you can't drive over this! It's I... a $70 line! You want to pay for it? No. You do not drive over the hose! <laughs> Alright. Hey. No, this isn't sorry. I watched you deliberately drive over it. I have cameras up to watch you. What? Yeah, I know, but. No, not but. You don't get to crock up in here and disrespect this, this establishment. Do you understand or go somewhere else? I am tired of this. Sh You've been told you rock up in here. You stop. You lift the line or you don't come here. Are we clear? Yeah. Leave me your name, your phone number, your address. Get in there, or I'm calling the cops right now. Holy f Get in there. Get out of my way. Right now, or I'm calling the cops now. You want to fix the lighter or small lighter? Don't matter. Give him a big one. I'm I'm tired of this bullshit, you guys. You rock over that line again and cut my line one more time. 70 bucks every time. Do you understand? 45.95. 60. That's it for this episode of the Karen Wars. But don't worry, we have a lot more videos for you to enjoy. And if you can, please like, leave a comment, and subscribe. If you do, I'll cheer you on at your next soccer game.